So in this next series of videos, I'm going to show you how I put the decal wrap on this 1980 CJ5 Jeep. I used a 48 inch by 26 foot roll and cut it to size. Uh, the pattern is called God's Country Late Season. It's made by Gregory's Incorporated, Bueller, Kansas. You can look them up on the web. They have a lot of different patterns. It's positional cast vinyl. And so hopefully by the time you get done watching all these different videos, you too can put this on your Jeep. So I've pre-cut this decal. It's 24 inches wide. The, the whole roll is 48 inches wide, but I cut this to 24 inches by 10 feet. I'm going to roll it up here and only work it out a few feet at a time, or you'll never you'll never be able to control a 10 foot sheet by yourself. If you have a, a partner that can help you, you're better off. But I'm going to be putting this on alone. So let's see what happens. So when you get this thing rolled out, I'm going to roll out, oh, I don't know, I'm going to roll out about <clears throat> that much. And then I clamp it. So I just any clamp will do. Just keeps you from coming unrolled. <clears throat> and then you want to tape it. Just get you a bunch of tape. You can't have too much tape. So the side of this thing has a uh, kind of an indentation where it's right here where I'm going to have to fit it. So I'm going to apply this decal just back to there and then uh, we'll do a little bit more. So. What I'm going to do here is peel this back. This is positional vinyl, so you can lay it down and uh, as long as you don't squeeze it down tight and heat it up, uh, you can pull it up and reposition it. And that's about right. What I'm going to do is touch this against this other decal to hold it because the last thing you want to do is for that sucker to drop and get into the dirt or something. pull that loose. So now I've got this uh, positioned where I need it. You know you see the rust spot in the back corner there's a spot down here. Well this is going to have um, tread plate uh, all along here and around the back. It's going to cover all those spots so all I want to do is bring this decal down far enough that it will be covered by this rocker panel uh, tread plate. So see the leaves are, are facing down. See there's a cross on there. You want that cross, you know, right? You don't want to put your decal on upside down. You have a big old problem. Now I'm just gonna lightly Squeeze this down, see around here will be covered with uh, fender flares. So all I'm doing is just lightly putting this down. Up to where I took the paper off.
going to kind of warm up the vinyl. I don't want to get it too hot. Just enough that it will just kind of stretch a little bit. So I can get it inside that. You want to try to do this with as few wrinkles as possible. Although the good thing about decal like this, it has such a pattern to it, some imperfections don't show up like, like they normally would. See, I'm just slowly working that around with my thumb. I'm not in any big hurry. This decal will stretch. It's got a two-tier thing here, so it, it kind of it goes like this and like this. I don't know. You know, get over here, maybe you can see. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of working this around. positional so right there I need to pull it up a little there we go all right so continuing right along hopefully you can see this So I, I've pulled the paper backing, you know, back a little bit more. I'm just working my way back. See, here's, here it is. It's rolled up on a roll. I've got it clamped. I've got it taped. And then as I move forward, I'll just keep unrolling it. That's the only way you're going to handle this by yourself. Did you put this on? Right here is the Jeep emblem. And you can feel with your thumb you can feel any little any little you know indentations you know little rises you know these jeeps they've got they've got all these places like that one what good is it nah just it just serves the purpose to frustrate a guy putting decal down So we got down here to where this Jeep logo is. I'll show you how to get that worked in there. Um, one thing I didn't talk about was cleaning this. I use, um, this is a commercial cleaner. See how you can pull that up, work out a spot? So, 
Anyway, I use a commercial cleaner. Um, it's one that I get, it's called Gone. I use it in the sign business to strip, you know, it'll take off road grime or, um, you know, uh, wax or anything. And then to get in all the little nooks and crannies, I use a toothbrush. It, you can buy a bunch of toothbrush real cheap and clean out. You, you got to have everything off. There cannot be any dirt, period. Uh, in an old Jeep like this, the paint's oxidized. You got to get all that off. And then, a lot of times, then I'll go over it with alcohol just to um, just to make sure that there's nothing left on it. So, you know, bending this angle, you hit that and then you, you know, you're bending around. So you want to make sure that you're tight in all of your creases. Now I'm going to use a squeegee for that. All I'm doing is heating that up, pushing that back into that corner. And this, this decal, when it's heated up, It'll conform. That's the beauty of it. Now I keep every piece, even that. I keep everything. Don't throw anything away.